Hello and welcome to episode 14 of our Timberborn Update 5 Let's Play with the Iron Teeth Faction here at the beginning of Cycle 27, Day 1. Last episode we got this giant industrial area off to a pretty good start. Still have a good bit of stuff to do, but this is a very, very good way to start off this episode. We're on the precipice of having bots join us for the first time in this playthrough, as this little guy is sitting at about 65% complete. And there will be plenty more to follow. Uh, but some quick things to note. Uh, as many of you have pointed out in the comments, uh, we have a bunch of homeless beavers. We have 28 currently that are homeless. And uh, we have a pretty good reason why. It's because I <laughs> built eight more of these last episode when we uh, previously... Uh, okay, not eight more. I built five more. But we previously only had like these little bit, and then I added another 50%. So... Obviously, we're going to get some more beavers, but, you know, I kind of just forgot about it, and uh, that was not my brightest moment. So what we're going to have to do is uh, rectify that pretty quickly, because there's only going to be more, only going to be more beavers. So before we get going on too much other stuff, let's uh, say goodbye to our rooftop terraces here and the accompanying pathways, and... We will just make quick work of putting in some large barracks, make sure those are rotated correctly, and they are. And there we go. That's housing for another 64 beavers. So that'll keep us <laughs> that'll keep us good for a while. The unfortunate thing is uh, losing those rooftop terraces, but we'll fix that at some point in the near future as well. Just want to make sure we did that right off the bat because uh, a couple of you called me out for having a whole bunch of homeless beavers <laughs> all over the place. Uh, we can fix that. We're not barbarians. But um, other things that we want to do today, uh, continue building out our industrial area. Maybe, maybe, I know some people might get a little irritated, but I kind of want to rip this out and redo it to uh, make it a little bit more streamlined and possibly uh, push it back another block or two because of uh, space concerns with all of this stuff here in our industrial district. And speaking of, I got a lot of good comments about this. Uh, the layout and everything. But I, I just wanted to go ahead and address this real quick. The travel time between the food factories and their uh, ingredients. Right down here in the bottom, uh, go down in our layer view, we have algae, corn, and eggplants stored right here next to the stairs. And it's it's really not that far from, uh, from the stairs to go just down, grab your stuff, and come back up. So I... I don't really have that big of a concern about travel time being an issue. That being said, uh, we can easily, easily come over here in the uh, the corner on the end, and we can put in a uh, platform here and a staircase. Just have them connect to the outside wall. Uh, just it just makes sense to have this done. So no real reason not to do so. And that is what we'll put there. And kind of uh, building off of that, I like this staircase. It's not the most space efficient thing, but I do think it looks pretty, well, for vanilla, it looks pretty good. And I want to duplicate that over here on this side, which is going to require blasting this out, uh, removing this industrial pile, which was going to be temporary anyway, and then slightly modifying how this stuff's set up. I'm going to take this a bot assembler and we're going to stick it on the far end and that's going to leave some gaps but we can't forget about charging so we have these guys right here and then on the end to have everything connected because remember these buildings conduct power on all sides including the top and the bottom so this is actually perfectly fine for conducting power just as is, I could put one here and one here, another charging station, just have a complete pass through. But uh, there's nowhere for the path to go because we have water wheels in the way. So I don't know. I, I haven't really decided what I want to do on the end. I think theoretically uh, it does make more sense from a efficiency perspective to have six and six over here. But I don't know. I kind of like the one on the end. I'm not married to it, though. So... <sighs> Might as well just go ahead and have that set up like so. Add path here and path here, which also means we need to put additional right there and right there 
but right now I'm pretty sure this single staircase is going to be absolutely fine. So no real need to worry about that. How far is this guy along now? 96%. You know what that means? Almost have ourselves a bot here in day two. That'll be beard bot number one. All right, there he is. Oh, I'm sorry, Iron Bot, because I forgot I don't have the uh, the name mod installed because there's no mods. But yeah, Iron Bot number one. I'm not going to manually rename all these. I'd go absolutely insane, and we don't want any more of that. But now we got to find something for these guys to do. And the thing that makes the most sense for preserving the lives of beavers is to automate bot assembly itself. That requires a lot of science. 10,000. We have 12. I, actually, we almost have 13. The bot part factories themselves require 5,000 science, but having the assemblers run 24-7 because they're, you know, staffed by bots is a very, very appealing thing, and it's one of the biggest science costs in the entire base game, so it just makes sense to go ahead and un unlock this now we have the chance. So that's what we'll do. Set that to bots only. Set this to bots only. Bots only. I know it hasn't been built yet, but that's uh, how that goes. And our buddy Ironbot over here is going to go to work duplicating himself. And now he has to go grab all of the uh, all of the parts, which is something we are hoping to fix by uh, putting all the storage down here and having that filled up appropriately. But as of right now, he's going all over the place trying to find stuff. So let's let's follow him around a little, little bit and see exactly uh, exactly what he's up to. My guy, you got work to do. Where are you going? You just aimlessly wandering around? I gave you a job. Isn't that what you want? You're an iron bot after all. There you go. Good job. Proud of you. So that's uh, working correctly. Yes, I do know that we don't have charging for him. He'll be okay. He's got energy for at least a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and prioritize the construction of that. Just these four items. So he has a path to charge himself because that's, uh, that's the one that will directly connect to this. And I mean, underneath also, but... That should be hopefully fine. He's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of energy left, so that should be okay. They'll make good progress on that. Uh, we have a mighty need for planks, which we had previously paused up here because well we didn't have any power, but now now we're generating a reasonable amount. I have most of this paused because these food factories have been. Uh, made redundant now that these are built and oh we actually don't have because <laughs> we don't have the planks uh, we can't have these running but we can make corn rations and eggplant rations granted there's not really a good place to put them right now but that is progress that's being made 32 percent yeah he's almost out of energy but the good news is this is just about done we're just waiting for gears and that should be, hopefully, uh, not too far off. Yeah, they're grabbing those just fine. So now he's got a place to go charge himself. Where did he get off to? Because he's, I think he's out of energy. But I don't see... Uh, why are you wandering up here, man? Come on. There is no reason for you to be up here. There's absolutely none. So where where are you going? Are you just aimlessly wandering around? I, I, I built you a charging station. I encourage you to use it. You're going to take your sweet time, aren't you? All right. Well, you want to be that way, be that way. Well, don't be that way, but it's not like I can really stop you, can I? So slow. Well, at least we know he can charge himself and get back to work. As soon as he decides he wants to. 
There you go. Go up the stairs. Head on over here. Stick yourself inside. There you go. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Good. All right. So uh, now that that's being somewhat handled, uh, we'll go ahead and let him do his thing. Other things we need to take care of today. I need to move this district across the river. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, we're, we're going to have a fun time. As now, uh, because of the way that I've built this, uh, this kind of no longer makes sense to be part of this district because all of this is part of this main district. So, I don't know. I, I did say I was going to move this, but now I'm not quite sure how to make that work. That's not exactly uh, inspiring confidence, I know. But uh, we'll figure it out. Another request from last episode was, or it might have actually been two episodes ago, and I just didn't do it last time. Um, District 2, which has not currently been named, but you can vote in a poll out now on the community tab, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. Um, but District 2 does not have any recreational stuff for these beavers that are here. So we can go ahead and just make a couple of quick, easy things for them to do. No real uh, need to be wasting our time, or wasting their time, I guess. But I think it is nice to have some options. Uh, showers, obviously, uh, cannot put that in bad water, so that's not really something that's going to work. No, nor swing pool, but you can put stuff in like, the, you know, the scratcher. Not a bad option. Just put a couple of those in. Uh, tooth grindstone don't need. Swimming pool, again, we don't have fresh water. But... But the exercise plaza, now that, that is a tempting thing to build. But I don't think we're going to worry about that just quite yet. Got a couple other things to take care of, but give them, you know, a couple things to uh, start off. Not such a bad thing. And now we don't have anything put down here, but I think uh, if we take a look at how this is set up. So I actually don't remember what I've put in. <laughs> All right, bot limbs, bot heads, bot chassis, explosives, gears, pine resin, algae, corn, eggplants, canola seeds. So we actually don't have finished food products in here. I think that's what we want to do. Algae, we be right across from algae rations. Corn can be right across from corn rations. And then we have eggplant rations over here. Uh, obviously, canola seeds cannot be across from canola oil because that has to go in a tank. But... Uh, something else that would fit over here, or maybe, who knows, maybe we just put more canola seeds, because you know we're going to need to make sure we have that for when we start making uh, grease and all that. So I think for right now, just so we can start stockpiling, I'll just have some more canola seeds. No harm in that. Absolutely no harm in having extra of those. So that's off to a good start. Other things of concern that we brought up last time, uh, we're in the process of damming up our bad water flow. We already have this one here, and this one is in the process of being dammed. And then once that's done, we'll just hop across here and do the same thing. But uh, like I said, uh, what that's going to do is force all of the bad water from... We have four sources over here. It's all going to have to come through this one channel. Ah, see, it's already overflowing. Uh, it's going to have to come through this one channel and then spin these wheels super fast. So right now, these are only putting out about 900. I thought it would be a little faster. So maybe we have uh, maybe we have too much water coming out. Yeah, the current's only 1.8, 1.9. Th well, it's also going off to the side, so we need to have our beavers come over here to uh, erect some uh, some levees. The problem is that is quite the journey, and uh, we're, <laughs> we're going to have to build some truly ridiculous uh, stuff over here. But we have... Uh, I, I guess I could get away with this. Put a uh, suspension bridge just like this. <laughs> Is is this is this stupid? Probably, but <laughs> this just looks so dumb. Oh man! Oh this this is this is just that's a travesty, is what this is. <laughs> yeah. 
That's that's so rough, man. This is just, yeah. But uh, we really, really need to get this whole thing managed in a much better way. Oh, that's that's I put that one block off. Ugh, man, I hate it when that happens. But we can send these guys down in style here. And by style, I mean on a, uh, a staircase. But that could just be the corner. Da, 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 da. And up we go. Put that there, put that there. I guess I could have just gone straight into stairs, but you know what? Too late for that. Or is it? It's not. It isn't too late. We can, uh, we can utilize our brains. Oh, but you're going to have to get rid of everything you put in. Yep. You guys know how this works. You are well aware. <laughs> well, well aware of how my brain works at this point. You signed up for the insanity. And now it's here. All right. So that's going to go in. That saves us. Actually, a not insignificant amount of uh, resources. So now what we'll do is put in our levees all the way across here. And theoretically, I should follow the contour here, but uh, this is another full two blocks higher, and I don't think it's ever going to get that high. So what we'll do is we'll just go straight across. And I will put this up two full blocks. And that should, should being the operative term, stop all of that nonsense. And of course, we have to connect this up here. Uh, is it a circuitous route? Yes. Is it uh, inefficient? Also, yes. Could I have just connected it to down here? Also, yes. And I might actually still do that. So, uh, no, this is a second district now. Oh, no, it's not. It's the same one. No, it's, it's a second district. Never mind. We're not going to do that. <laughs> but they're going to come in here and uh, be just fine. What I can do is I can just put some stairs down here. And there you have it. Just run this all the way down. They can build that and we'll let them take care of that as they will. Because that's where all of our power is going. It's just floating off the side here. Because we should... Theoretically, be I mean, we're still making way more than we need, but we should be producing at least 1,300 during a temperate season. So we have, looks like uh, an unemployed bot, and that's because this building hasn't been finished yet, but it is, oh, we didn't mark that one? Okay, well, now it actually is ready to go. So that's going to work out just fine. Good. And these food factories should be operating. Uh, next thing is going to be to move all of the uh, fermenting and stuff down there. We can use this all for farming. Because we're going to need a lot more when we start making our population bigger. And that'll be just fine. So now we have all the space back here. That is going to need to be used for uh, putting in... What are these things called? Oil presses. There we go. We have all these canola seeds, but I can already hear you saying the canola seeds are inaccessible because they're far away from the staircase. Well, that's, yeah, that's true. But consider the following. I can just put in oil presses here, and then they just go down the stairs and get it, and it's not that big of a deal. Or I can just, you know, change what gets stored where. There's not, there's not really any rhyme or reason to how I have this set up. Probably should be, but uh, they're just simply put isn't right now. And this is gears. The gears could very well be put almost anywhere else. The explosives could almost very well be put anywhere else. I just put those there because that was the first thing I did. So for the time being, I'm inclined to just build oil presses pretty much wherever they'll fit. The only hard part is going to be getting power over and across. Uh, I didn't think about that. I did not think about this properly here. 
because I should be putting these uh, here. Okay, well, we can uh, we can mess with that later. It's not going to be that big of a deal to take one of these out and double stack it. But I think the best option for right now is to have the oil presses go along the back side of these food factories. We're not really going to need that many of them. And we have the opportunity to put even more storage underneath. Not that we, you know, really need to, but it's uh it's free. Well it's not free, you have to build it, but you know you know what I'm getting at. So we put these guys right there. Then on top, oil presses. We just go here, 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 and here. So we have six all ready to go. And what I think we'll do is across from this, uh, we'll have to have storage for the oil itself. And remember, this is still accessible to this staircase pretty easily. No, uh, no real issues here. I'm just, I'm just not that worried about the travel times. Probably is not going to become that much of an issue. Uh, but right here, this should be another staircase to connect to the outside. So we have interconnectivity between uh, these things. And now that this is all uh, interconnected, I do need to go ahead and get rid of this. Which I suppose I probably should just use the demolish buildings tool that I never ever use. So that's easy. And we have some stuff we need to demolish to get to uh, where we need to be. So I'm going to put in these triple dynamites. Uh, see if I can actually put all of this as triple dynamite. I think they should be able to reach all this. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. We'll do that twice. And then, of course, we'll have uh, this path right here. And then across the way, we'll have, you guessed it, more storage. Although uh, warehouses or large industrial piles, I'm not exactly sure. I don't think it would be that ridiculous for us to have a second story down here. But uh, the way this is set up isn't really uh, isn't really conducive to that. So maybe we could figure out some other thing, or just have uh, these stairs to descend another level here, which we could easily do with an intermediary platform and not have that big of an issue. So if we did that, we could put in a little bit more storage for some basic stuff that we might want to use. And that would be fine. Because remember, we can't stack large tanks, anything on top of them, uh, because we don't have access to all of that. The closest we could get would be these metal platforms, but those aren't perfect either because the small one is 3x3 three three, and the large one's 5x5, five five, but it's also substantially taller. We could, in theory, blast a hole in the ground and then have those separated uh, like that, but that's a lot of metal, and <laughs> we don't currently have the capacity to do that yet. Speaking of, we need to put metal processing and stuff in, and those are four blocks deep, not three. Everything we've built so far is either three, or in the case of the oil presses, two. So we want to make sure that we're keeping stuff in mind, and if we had metal storage underneath here, then we could easily, uh, the way this is set up, have a couple of tanks for the canola oil, and then just put a bunch of these smelters and they could just go down the stairs right there, and that would be a-okay. But right now, triple dynamite. What a fun sound. Um, yeah, let's get this demolished down. Uh, I'm going to have to probably uh, just have that there. Come back here and detonate all of this at the same time. Oh, uh, is that is that four high? No, that's three high. Good. And uh, I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier or not, but this area right here, I liked this idea. We're going to keep it, but we're going to rebuild it slightly moved so it doesn't uh, it doesn't intrude so much into this space because I think I think this is going to be a really, really smart looking thing, but I am going to have to move this path back a little bit and once we get rid of all this industrial stuff we can trim this cliffside by one or two blocks and make it happen so that's exciting 
uh, I guess kind of related to that, we did talk a little bit last time about having uh, this water go through here and connect over here. But uh, a couple of you made some good comments about this. Why wouldn't we just route it this way to go through this area instead, which we could pretty easily do by just either cutting a channel through here or we could uh, cut a channel through here, or we could route this through this area. It's already, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's already kind of set up to do that, make uh, this into like a nice irrigation area. Cause you know, we also have these here we haven't messed with. So there's a lot of different ways we could go about this, but so much easier than just blasting through all of this, just figure out a way to make it work and then reroute everything to go through here. And this too, but we're, kind of far away from getting this. So all of this coming out here is uh, waste. Well, this is flowing out of the map and we have to have something flow out of the map. And that's that discharge right there. But once we have all of these in place, and this one's actually pretty close, uh, we'll be in a very good shape to have a very rip roaring current here that, well, they haven't quite gotten to yet. But it's going to be a lot of water. We just have to make sure it doesn't flood. That would be, um, shall we say, inconvenient if that were to happen. I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue, though. The folding does tend to work pretty well, and we can always move this back. Uh, take this out and this out, and that should be all right. But how is our power looking now? Ah, bad tide. Here we go. Only 890. Yeah, we, we gotta we gotta corral all this water leaving the map. But the bad tide's gonna be interesting. Because uh I'm so glad I didn't take these dams out. I thought about it. Oh the swimming pools? Hey, they're open, cool. So these guys have something to do. Uh we need to unpause. There we go. We can construct those. But the bad tide's gonna get really, really interesting. Because uh, we're going to have to... Uh, oh, this is already full, so I guess that's not that big of a deal. They're just going to keep on pumping. I mean, we have plenty stored up. But the bigger issue is we don't have wood to harvest because these are all in the uh, process of growing. Although we should, have a, we should have a decent bit coming soon. And we have been building a lot of stuff, so... It's not that our wood supply is inadequate. It's just that uh, I think I've been asking a little bit too much from it lately. So that's very, very interesting here. All right, so this is ready to go. All right, and uh, we can go ahead and put in all of these guys as triple dynamites. Oh, really? They can't reach this? Are you serious? That's annoying. So <laughs> I'm really going to have to have this in two parts, huh? Okay. Now that works. Well, we'll be alright. So now that we have, we don't quite have 5,000 signs, but as soon as we do, I'm going to make the bot part factories into uh, bot-only buildings. But we just have to make sure this is all set up, ready to go. And that should make pretty quick work of uh, everything. Then we can actually get in here and start building the rest of these. But yeah, like I said, uh, this system with these staircases like this, I think is a good one. Just have to move it slightly and reorganize it to be a little bit better. This isn't really the best staircase design, but um, you know, it works, it's, it's okay. All right, we're almost, almost ready. Just need to get these in place, that should be pretty quick. And then we cannot forget at the start of the bad tide to divert water appropriately so we don't poison our water supply. But this is all done. Please nobody walk in here. All right, cool. So now uh, I'm actually going to go in one time speed so we don't uh, don't miss anything. But we have the uh, choice to figure out how we're going to have this set up because this is a staircase just going direct from this whole area right here all the way down. So we could, in theory, especially because these bot assemblers are going to be drawing parts from downstairs, we want them to have multiple uh, 
avenues to get down. If we were to do something like this with a landing in the middle, this would actually meet this path right here. We could still have this set up like so, have nice access to things. But what that would also allow us to do is have this intermediary uh, landing right here very, very easily. So that would actually be set up quite nicely for us to put in some large industrial piles right here. And then a second floor. And then on top, because of the way these uh, paths are set up, this is actually perfectly positioned for us to put smelters in. And the doorways would line up perfectly. But I, I do need to have a way to get uh, uh, canola oil stored up. So what we can do is we can either just have this uh, be all canola oil and not worry about powering anything, or we can put the smelters here and have the canola oil actually built up over this to where it could easily be accessed from here and from here for these guys. I think that might be a slightly better option, although it will hide our water flow. Not that that's really that big of a concern, but that is something I think we want to uh, be aware of. And, oh man, I am, I'm getting a little nervous about the water height here, but I, th I think it's going to be okay. This is just about fully complete. Uh, we want to dam this up as well, but we don't have a lot of wood. So I think for right now, we're fine not adding anything else, but we will do that uh, before it gets to be too far gone. But I do think having this just be a bunch of smelters would be smart. We're going to need a lot of metal. I don't know if we're going to need... Um, how many can I even fit here? Like, yeah, I could fit six. Six might actually be fine, especially once we start putting in uh, these advanced mines and everything. So I think that's what we'll start with and see how that goes. But that also is going to create an interesting problem of how do we get power over here? Because uh, you can't transfer power across the way this is set up unless the only way we could do it would be to have a power shaft coming through here, but then we would not have the ability to have these stairs go up. And I think we definitely want to have the stairs. I don't think we uh, we want to lose that. So part of the, uh, shall we say, fun of that is uh, going to be to figure out how all this is going to work. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. I mean, we can, we can just build a super ugly uh, <laughs> power transfer thing and just be, uh, just be done with it. No real shame in that. I mean, this is not an aesthetic playthrough, or at least that isn't the main consideration. But, uh, you know, if there's a way to make it look nice without going completely out of your way, then I think that's probably the better option. But we'll see. How do we only have 21 beds left? Man, I can't believe that. That's uh, actually kind of scary. Oh, well, we'll be all right. Uh, extract wise, uh, we have 2100, so I don't need to turn these centrifuges on. Bad water pump wise, we actually could use, uh, long term, I think we could use some more pumps, but uh, this is, this is fine right now. But it's nighttime, so let's go ahead and power through the rest of this evening and see what they can come up with. I do think I want to put these, uh, smelters in, but that is going to take a, a little bit of time because we don't have a lot of planks right now. We really, really need to make sure that we have planks being actually produced. So that's going to be uh, going to be fun because we need the gears too to keep making uh, to keep making bots and stuff. Yeah, and okay, these are sucking up so many planks. I gotta pause. I gotta pause these. Because we have, we have other goals in mind that do not involve just completely sacrificing all of our planks. But, um, yeah, we just need to get some more logs. I think we hit kind of a wall with our wood production because most of these uh, grew up around the same time. But our giant dams here, levees technically, are these two are done. And we're diverting water. We're not going to do this one yet until I have more wood. But we also, you know, we have these trees down here we haven't even bothered to uh, mess with yet. So I think what we're going to want to do is 
just do one of these real quick and mark these all for cutting. Hold on. I made a dumb. These are one level down. And you can't get there. So what do we have to do instead? Nope, not that. We've got to start from over here. Well, that's okay, because these guys will connect just fine. And it's actually easier. It's just as unfortunate that uh, it has to start from over here. But they'll harvest all this wood. That'll be fine. Now, it's only half a day left. Don't let me forget, he says to the people that can't actually interact with him in real time. But it's, uh, it's fine. <laughs> we'll be okay. I just really need to make sure these are taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead um, lower these and raise these and raise this but just want to make sure that was in place. Trying to get as much water as we can through here. Not like it really matters. We'll be okay. It can't be any longer than nine days anyway. Uh Raise that, lower that so it doesn't completely flood, and now we should be uh, should be bad water safe. Just make sure that's actually closed, and it is. All right, so a little a little early, maybe a little reactionary, but I do not want to contaminate our drinking water supply. That would be an absolute catastrophe. All right, how long of a bad tide is this going to be? Let's find out. Six days. All right, well, that's that's kind of tame. What do you mean there's nothing for you to do? I marked the... Oh, it didn't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> all right, we'll, uh, we'll let them get at that. Yep, six days. Uh, our, all of our good water is fine. It's not poisoned. So that's good to see. We can still pump. I mean, we have tons, tons and tons and tons of storage. So not really that worried about it. But show must go on. And even as many trees as we have planted here, we need more. There's a little bit more of an area that we can uh, access here from our forester. So we'll just go ahead and uh, plant here. I think you should be able to access these. And our lumberjacks can cut them as well. So that will be fine. These should be, uh, yeah, these are all done. So next step is to uh, get across here, but uh, we don't have enough wood to even think about that. I've got to have some stuff catch up. But we are making plenty of these ration things. We have tons of storage, so that's all looking good. Um, and we can start moving the rest of this down here. Now, I, I know I just spent a whole lot of time talking about, oh, we can put the 4x... Uh, the Four by two stuff on this side, and we can, and we will. But uh, we gotta find a space for other things as well. So uh, I also have to connect all of this, right, like so. So the reason I'm doing this is because uh, coming from all the other directions, you're gonna want them to be able to access, because this is gonna connect on this side here, and probably. Probably have some more stuff in storage. But what's... Okay, that's empty. Bad water can go away. Extract can uh, go away. We already have that much storage there. I'm going to reorganize that too. But this... This needs to be uh, blasted back a little bit. And we'll get rid of the stuff on top here. So that's fine. We can, we can go ahead and slow this down a little bit. Don't have to be at triple speed all the time. Although it is fun to have stuff built fast. That's always, always enjoyable. But it should take some time and actually, you know, take a look at what we're doing so we don't get too out of our heads. So we need gears for the oil presses. And we can't make gears because the gear workshops are only running at 16% power input. But to build a gear workshop, you have to have, guess what? Planks. And what do we not have? A lot of planks. So it's it's going to be kind of interesting because all of our bot parts 
that we really don't have very many of at all are uh, being made with planks and metal and logs and stuff. So we have seven unemployed bots. I'm going to go ahead and actually pause the bot part factories for now. And the bot assemblers can stay as they are. So we can use... Oh, we actually don't even have enough parts, do we? Nope, we don't have any limbs. We have one limb. All right, well, I mean, the bots have to have something to do. So why don't we go ahead and put them in the lumber mills so they can work all the way around the clock? And then we just have one unemployed bot, which should be fine. But we really want to make sure that the, uh, the planks are being made expeditiously. So that is, now we have 21, 21 unemployed beavers. And uh, even though, even though we have all these builder's huts, uh, there's not really that much building that is going to require us having this many, but I'm not going to get rid of it because, you know, uh, might as well have them, right? So now we got to think a little bit about how we're going to handle the rest of everything we've got going. We are starting to run low on our canola oil which is unfortunate because we don't have uh, we don't have the ability to build any of these. However, if we demolish enough of this stuff, we're going to get gears back. I've got two of these, two of these oil presses. If I demolish two of those, I can have one over here. I'm pretty sure. And we're going to get rid of all this stuff anyway. So let's just do that and prioritize this as the top construction priority. Get that done, and we should have an oil press, which is exciting. But yeah, all of all of this stuff, all this stuff can go. Uh, this storage is completely empty anyway, so that's fine. Um, these guys, food factories, I'm not going to get rid of them until we have all of our fermenters replaced, because that's going to be uh, that's going to be a whole thing. And this storage right here is still okay. We have our fermented cassava. We have our fermented mushrooms. Uh, one of each doesn't seem to be hurting our supply very much, but we are going to want to keep an eye on this and make sure that we're not uh, completely, completely stupid that this is set up. So our well-being score hasn't really increased at all because I took away some of their recreational activities, but, but there's actually still a uh, a decent, well, considering there's still a decent amount of uh, of beavers that are getting some amount of fun. But we can lower the working hours as soon as we have enough bots. That's going to be good. Social life is kind of suffering a little bit, uh, but obviously this is going to go up at nighttime. It is the middle of the day, so those numbers are going to be a little low. But we do want to find a way to get rooftop terraces back. And that's going to be an interesting challenge. Uh, I did see a comment saying that uh they really would like to see like a uh, I don't remember what the exact word is but like a, a beaver downtown maybe that might have been it and if we have all of this removed then we could actually restructure this in a little bit of a nicer way and uh, have all the housing and all the amenities kind of centralized maybe a little bit more toward this side especially now that the levees block the flow of a uh, or I guess not the flow but the irrigation properties of the water it doesn't really matter for us to have everything concentrated right here because, well, the stuff's blocking it anyway. So if we were a little bit more careful with how this was set up, we could just shift this to the other side, have it laid out in such a way where stuff is pretty close in terms of uh, recreation, stack stuff up nice and high, uh, have our exercise plaza in a slightly more logical location, and then uh, figure out where to go from there. There's a lot of cool stuff we can get to, and that's the fun thing about this game, is you can do whatever you want. Like You can be completely original. You can say, hey, I, I saw this on YouTube, and I, I like that, so I want to put that in my my place or whatever. But there's there's no limit to what you could do. There's no really wrong way to do it. I'll, there are ineffective ways to do stuff, but, you know, it's creative. It's a city builder. It's supposed to be fun. You don't have to feel bad because you're not the most efficient or you're not making the best looking stuff. I know my stuff is definitely, definitely not always the most efficient or the best looking, but it's, you know, it's the process, right? 
what what's the, the the cheesy message of every coming of age movie from the 80s was always like the, the journey is the prize and the destination is just where you go or something like that i don't know i, I like to think that's kind of what these videos are it's a a, f a fun way for us to interact with each other and uh enjoy the process of being creative and making something cool all that being said uh it's about to be nighttime so let's let's power through that again still got another four days to get through and we're not going to have too much more time but i did want to try and get the rest of this put together want to get the wood back up a little bit and that sound is glorious we have <laughs> we have the oil press back in action here and six of these is going to be just fine and as soon as i have enough uh in the way of planks i want to put platforms here and then put a bunch of canola oil storage that should be quite quite nice but I think a uh, bigger priority needs to be uh, getting getting this water to stop flying all over the map. With the amount of wood we have, I don't think that's going to be a very fast thing. But we'll see. Oh, can they actually get all the wood? Nice. I did not think that was going to be uh, that big of a thing. Cool. Since we paused all of our bot stuff, we don't have to worry about that consuming resources. So now we just make what we can make, use the gears we can use, and if we can't, then well, that's uh, unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. I am going to pause that smelter, because we, uh, we have enough metal for right now. We're going to need more, but um, having these guys actually be able to make gears at somewhat of a faster speed, I think is a uh, valuable thing. But I can't really shut much of anything else more off, unfortunately. There's only so much you can do. These guys are providing a really nice amount of power, over 8,000. These should be 12, 13, 1400 apiece. But um, yeah, this, this exists. So each of these levees is 12 blocks. We have a lot. So this is probably three or 400 uh, logs right here. But we have the uh, we have the builder beavers to do it. We just got to make sure we can actually, you know, stick them somewhere. These guys right now don't have anything else going on. They're all going to head back at the same time because the workday is over. But ideally, ideally they all come over here during the day and take care of all that stuff. Now, our well-being is actually increasing slightly. I think that's because we have fewer injured beavers. But also, we have all these monuments and stuff that seem to be working pretty well. Uh, we haven't done any of these other things, but those take resources I don't want to spend right now. I wanted to see, because look, these campfires are always uh, lit, as the kids say. Uh, you can shoot me for that one. Uh they're not all taking advantage of it, though. So there's only 66. I, I think that just means we need more or they need more time. Rooftop Terrace is about what I would expect at 46 because, well, I took most of them away. But we're going to redo this anyway, so not that big of a problem. Uh, food processing-wise, still looking good. Uh, we have a smaller amount of berries, but um, I don't think it's that big of a problem. We do have plenty to harvest, and this is continuing to grow, and we will rework a lot of that anyway so now i've got to uh got to decide what goes here so we have all of the uh the canola seeds are stored down here at the end no real reason for putting them there that's just kind of what i did we have extra space down here but there's not that much more, not that much more we can really put over here unless I were to move uh, canola seeds here and replace these with something else that might make a little bit more sense. But what's that going to be? See, I just, uh, I just don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe it's better to just have extra storage for different things. Like pine resin, there is honestly not the best spot for it. This, this probably should be, should be canola seeds. So I'm going to swap those. Uh, there we go. And this can be more pine resin. So that can be canola seeds. That's actually a lot more convenient for those food factory things. 
This can also be canola seeds. You know what? This can also be canola seeds. We can just put a whole bunch of canola seeds in here. Then these two, we could have overflow for some gears. And um, maybe more overflow for gears. <laughs> I don't know. I was kind of, kind of running out of some ideas. But that would be... Uh, that would be fine, because we already have gears here. Then these guys down here at the bottom. Again, uh, I like the idea of having, quote unquote, all four of the things I was doing before in place. But since I want to put the um, uh, the smelters here, I think it just makes sense to have scrap metal. And one floor, and then... The metal blocks on the next, which is up here. Just like so. And we've got access with our kind of strange stairs like this, but uh, it's fine. And these guys also, well, I guess more importantly, the bot part factories are going to have good access to metal blocks by going down this staircase. So that works out. Quite well. This is just slightly awkward looking, but I think it's fine. All right, we got less than two days left in our bad tide, and that will be where we end uh, this video. So before we uh, before we say goodbye, let's go back down to one time speed and uh, let's take a look at where we're going here. Uh, food factories, big win getting that set up. We still have uh, some problems with our planks and our gears and that is something that's going to be fixed we just have to build out the rest of that stuff and that's going to be something that is an interesting problem to solve logistically speaking but uh, once we blow all this stuff up i think that's going to be something we can just extend uh, these industrial piles out further this way and then st still have this thing kind of up on the top for other other materials or easier access of specific types. But if we have that set up this way, uh, this whole thing is built on the double platform, so I unfortunately can't... Well, I could tear this all down, but that would be a huge pain, so I don't want to do that. We could extend uh, this this way or put a second thing here, but I kind of like the idea of just having a, a absolute unapologetic ton of a mess of storage for all the, all the different types of food stuff because right here we could put large warehouses and put all of the other food processing here because we have the food factories and we're going to have canola oil accessible on this side so not exactly the shortest route but we could make it work and we could actually on top of this thing right here the way this is set up we could put in a, a tank if we wanted to elevate it slightly. But since we're already here, if we start the process, I can put three of these. They can easily get down here. Uh, we could have our regular supply stuff. We have soybeans, we have mushrooms, and we have cassava that can go down here. And then on top, because of the way this is set up, it's not going to quite work perfectly we're gonna have to do a little bit of shenanigans but we could we could get a little cute with this and the staircase uh, is kind of in the way there but I could do something like this then either on the back side have a, uh, a connector piece here then of course this is going to get blasted out but I think we're going to need a lot of these fermenters and we're going to want to have access to all that stuff. So I guess the jury's still kind of out on that. I might might want to have a different uh, spot to put all of the uh, canola oil. But that's kind of what I was thinking for that. And then, of course, on the backside here, we could have plenty of other opportunities to uh, stick stuff in where it wants to go. But I'm not going to commit to putting those here right now because we still have still have the space up here, especially once we get rid of the rest of our stuff that's taking up a whole bunch of our resources. And these are still connected here. But uh, I think for the sake of, you know, just actually existing, and get rid of these guys, and I'll just run a... Uh, yeah, I'll just 
run one of these. <laughs> no, uh, no real reason not to. Just got to get all of our bits and pieces out of the way by kind of, I guess, gaming the uh, part of the system that actually moves all, all of the components around. And uh, there's not really a reason to do it like the way I did, but eh, I think it's going to be fine. So we do have some gears, some metal blocks, and a lot of planks in this rubble, which is another benefit to doing it this way. So no, uh, no bad stuff to be seen there. But the problem also now is that I don't have any canola oil. <laughs> we just have this one guy. Just have this one guy doing it. So that's uh, obviously a little less than ideal. But they'll, uh, they'll take care of this pretty quickly. I'm going to super prioritize all of this up here so they can focus on that for a little bit. Get that taken care of and then we'll be good to go. It's about time for them to be done so I'll speed it back up again. And there we go. I can put that in that spot, that in that spot, and that in that spot. This will be connected uh, to all of this and we'll be in decent shape. The uh, planks are recovering quite nicely, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to pause these two industrial lumber mills so we can get a little bit more power to our gear workshops. And uh, that should be okay. We're still only making 890 here. That's to be expected. They haven't finished this yet. But they they can. It's just going to take them a, a little bit of time to get that done. And there, there really is not any way to go faster here, unfortunately because of the geography of where this was located. But if we were able to actually go down in here and build from below, obviously it would be about twice as fast, but um, this is bad, bad water, right? You don't, you don't want to put beavers in there unless you're sadistic. So uh, I generally try not to be that way, so that's why that hasn't happened yet. But here we are, last day of the bad tide, and that's going to set up a... Uh, Pretty good conclusion to today's episode, all things considered. We've got plenty of stuff accomplished, plenty more that needs to be accomplished, and uh, lots of problems to solve for next time. But good stuff here. We we did get our bots started, even if I even if I had to pause uh, what they were doing, with the exception of our our lumber mills here. But that's fine. That's the way it goes. And everything is still connected, and food is still looking really good, even though we only have one fermenter for cassava and mushrooms and soybeans. Still have tons of food, and no danger of any sort of a food collapse or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, that's looking good. Wood still could uh, recover a little bit better, but, I, you know, I think we're fine. We have enough here, and they are they're still cutting this down. And I could put some stairs here and have this forester grow some more wood down in this location. But uh, like I said, we were thinking about maybe rerouting the water to go through here. And if that's the case, I need to build, um, well, I guess it's not technically an aqueduct because it doesn't have any pass through underneath it. But I could put uh, some levees here to channel water this way and then either into here to join up with uh, diversion from this. Or we, oh, this is dried out, really? How? Wow. Okay, I guess that um, that really shouldn't have dried out. I'm not pumping out of it. Oh, it all drained into this pool. That's exactly what happened. Okay, maybe I should um, maybe I should fill this in. Well, that's thoughts for next episode at least. Yeah, we are uh, well and truly out of time. So I guess this is where we'll end it. As always, uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please do write them in the comments below. I do read all of them, and I try to take them into account when we're recording new episodes because I really, really value your input because it is a let's play, not a watch me play. So I, don't know, I say that every single time, but uh, I really do value your input, and I enjoy it when you guys get to contribute and uh, tell me about your ideas or comments about things. So... Again, look forward to talking with you there about that. Very appreciative of you spending your time with me today, as well as our Beard Boosters who make all of this possible with their generous contributions. So thank you very much for that. 
You can see their names on the screen. There's information in the description if you want to be part of that. But again, no obligations. Just glad to have you here watching these videos, even if this is the only one you ever see. You had a choice of trillions of hours of content here on YouTube, and you chose to spend some time with me, and I'm very thankful for that. But as this cycle ends, we'll go ahead and say goodbye. We'll be back on Friday for a continuation of this series. Uh, tomorrow and Thursday, more folk tales as we look to uh, start winding that series down once we get our giant water wheel project completed over there and making plenty of bots and other interesting things. We still got a couple weeks left in that one, so don't get too worried. And then on Wednesday, back to the water beavers as we continue that series as well. Other things up on the horizon soon. City Skylines 2 releases in under two weeks. And I'm going to be starting to do uh, videos on that when that comes out, some live streams as well. So I uh, hope you join us for all of that. But we're just about out of time here in Cycle 27, and we'll pick back up again Cycle 28, Day 1, next time. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, have a fun and a safe time, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.